Okay guys, this is the Dell Venue 8 Pro. It is an eight inch um, Windows 8 tablet. It is running full Windows. This is not RT, um, nothing against RT. I actually really like my Surface RT. And um, I bought this specifically because I needed a small device that had an active digitizer so I could use a pen. Originally I was using this Sony Vio Duo 11, which is a great, a great laptop tablet hybrid thing and it um but it's just too big you know my job for my job i have to run in and out of clients all day long getting signatures which is why i need the pen and i figured this dell would be a good good way to test it um i was thinking about getting the surface pro but this is a lot smaller a lot lighter a lot thinner and uh I figured I'd give it a shot before getting the Surface Pro, but I think I'm going to keep this because it's pretty, it's, it is pretty nice. Okay, so as far as the hardware goes, ignore anybody that scoffs at the resolution of this screen. It is a beautiful, beautiful display. Uh, it's, it's not, you know, full HD and all that other mess, but really when you watch a video on this, uh, compared to an iPad mini or something, or even a Retina iPad or something, they're not going to look any different. I mean, it looks really, really good when you're doing anything on it. It's a really nice display. You do have to turn off the uh, auto brightness so you can so you can change the brightness of the display. Uh, originally, it comes like set, com like the brightness is all the way off. And the reason Dell does that is because uh, this tablet gets eight hours of battery life when you have it set for the display to be automatically adjusted. When you have it, um, when you turn that off and you crank up the display, it knocks like a couple hours off of the battery life. So that's why they did that. I think they should have just put a bigger battery in, but whatever, you know. And with that said, even with the battery life being shortened by about two hours, the battery life is still solid. I haven't had to uh, charge this up during the day. Usually by the end of the day with the screen brightness all the way up, um, it will be very near dead, but um, I haven't had a problem with it. You know, I just plug it in overnight and it's fine. Um, as far as the rest of the hardware goes on the back, you've got this plastic. I don't know if it'll focus on here, but uh, it's kind of got a texture to it. Maybe yeah, you can probably see that. And that texture is awesome. It's really, really nice. It feels good in the hand. Um, also, it's got a five megapixel camera. I'll put some pictures on here so you can see it. it the camera, eh, you know, it's a tablet camera. I mean, it does have autofocus. It does a halfway decent job with macro shots and you can do other things like, you know, panoramas and all that other mess, but it's not that. I mean, it's a tablet, you know, it's not made for that kind of stuff. It also has a front facing camera uh, that gets the job done. It's nothing special. Uh, the Windows button is at the top, which I really like. I prefer it there. Um, you've got your power button or well, starting from the left, you've got the charger, power button, volume and a little microphone hole. And towards the other side here, you've got an SD card slot that you can put a 64 gig micro SD in. Um, and I, I have a, I think, I, yeah, I, I do have a 64 gig micro SD in there. Um, and that's about it. There's nothing else really on it. Aside, <laughs> aside from this insanely loud speaker, that thing is off the charts. I mean, it, this tablet here, is actually louder than my Sony Vio, <laughs> which has stereo speakers on it. And this just has one little speaker on it, and it's louder. I mean, it's ridiculously loud. Um, I'm not gonna say it's the best quality speaker. When you crank it up to those really, really high uh, volumes, you definitely pay the price in sound quality, but man, is it loud. Okay, inside what you've got here is a Bay Trail processor that is the new uh, quad core um, Atom processor and it's not bad actually you know it, it, it's 
actually surprisingly good. You can see here what you've got is maximum speed is 1.33 gigahertz. Um, <clears throat> it's got four cores and uh, man, it works good. Usually, as you can see right here, it is clocked way down when it's not doing anything. I mean, it's only like 500, 500 megahertz right now, but it this this processor is absolutely just awesome. I mean, I it, there is no slowdown whatsoever. I've tested this thing um, with a lot of apps, a lot of games, you know, and a lot of games here, and it runs them perfectly. Browsing the web on this honestly um, feels about as actually it feels just as fast and just as intuitive as doing it on my Sony here. And this thing has an i5 processor and six gigs of RAM. So it, and this feels just as fast when you're browsing uh, on, on the web. That is really nice. In fact, and I wanted to test this processor because it's so smooth and fast when you're using it uh, in the in the Metro UI, I wanted to see what it was like with real, real stuff, you know, real uh, applications. So I installed, uh, come on, focus. Yeah. I installed Minecraft, which runs perfectly. I even put VMware on here because I noticed in the settings uh, that this processor actually has virtualization turned on. And that's crazy. This is an Atom processor, yet it runs VMware. And it runs, and I, I, I installed a Linux distro, and it works perfectly fine. I mean, I just uh, put it with a Bluetooth mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard, and it works perfectly fine as a complete system. I and here it is in the case, the official Dell case. Uh, it folds out into a stand like so. It's adjustable, so you can lay it down if you want. You can bring it back up. Uh, it's got this kind of, eh, kind of like a, eh, I don't know what that material is. It's not really a suede, but it's something down there that's that's kind of grippy for the feet. It's got these little rubber feet on the bottom of the case that allow you to, that keep it still. So when you put it like that, it doesn't slide forward. Uh, the case itself is made out of uh, some kind of faux leather stuff. And uh, see, it's got a hole for the camera. All of your ports are accessible. Uh, it does not have a strap to hold it closed, which is bad. I, I really, really want a strap. I might have to adjust this. I might have to get some hot glue or something and put an elastic band or something across the front of this so I can strap it closed because it just kind of falls right open. It's not, it doesn't have any magnets or anything in it to hold it shut. And because of that, when you close it, the tablet has no idea that it's closed and it doesn't turn the screen off of the tablet. Uh, I mean, that's just, uh, you know, that's, it's not good. I mean, this is a $30 case here and it doesn't even do that. Uh, it has a loop here for a stylus but you can't even use the active stylus for this device in that loop. And the reason is this active stylus, for some strange reason, this thing has a ridiculous range on it. And when you get close to the screen with the stylus, uh, it turns off the touch screen. And if the stylus is sitting right here, that's close enough that the touch screen thinks the stylus is floating above it and it turns off the touch screen that's just wow you know i mean you would think that dell would know that's a problem <laughs> i mean th who who tested this stuff you know uh but all of this seems like stuff that can be fixed with software so hopefully we get some new drivers and everything and that's all fixed okay so let's talk about the pen now, a lot of reviewers hate this thing. They say that it is the worst pen ever. It doesn't work well, blah, 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 right? Uh, the pen itself feels fine. Once you got a battery in it, it, it's got a nice weight to it. It's a little light. I would, 
I would prefer it to be a little bit heavier than that. It does have a has have, have one button. I'm not gonna get this to focus right, I don't think. Yeah, it's got one button on it. It's a rocker. The back, but it's two buttons actually. The back side of it, which is rid, uh, raised a little bit, that is one function. And the front part, which is down lower and shallower, is uh, a different function. And it's got a rubberized tip onto it that on it that feels really good, and a hard plastic uh, tip that will scratch the crap out of your screen. You want to put a screen protector on there. I actually got one from Amazon and put it on there, and uh, that works fine for me. Now, <clears throat> as far as how it works, uh, this is Drawboard PDF, which is a Metro application that's in the Windows Store. Really, really good application. Go out and get this. Um, it works fine, you know, it, it, it does tend to continue writing a little bit after you've let off. Um, but like if I'm drawing a line here, let up and try to make a dotted line, it's really not doing it much now, you know? Yeah, it's not doing it. It's actually working really well now. Uh, but I haven't had the problems that I'm seeing on other reviews. I mean, some people, they'll start writing something and then it will, there'll be a, a line that just like shoots off to the top or shoots off to the side or something that they didn't write. And um, I haven't had that problem. You know, now what I do, I don't draw. What I do is I get signatures. And when you're doing signatures, this kind of thing works the this style stylus works fine i can understand if you're drawing you know and uh it can be pretty bad i'm sure you know i i'm a terrible person <laughs> terrible drawer here i'm not even going to try that but um i can imagine drawing with this would be really bad really really bad but for signatures and for just filling out documents you know um you know, filling out documents like this, you know, that works perfectly fine. There's no issues with it. Another problem with um, this tablet and with any Windows 8 tablet that doesn't come with 128 gigs of hard drive space like that Sony did is that Windows is big. It really is. So if I go into um, my file manager here, and check it out yeah I have 6.23 gigabytes of free space left now I do have that 64 gig SD card in there which I'm using for all of my music and videos and pictures and I also have a um, I also have a network attached storage like about a hard drive plugged into a router so that gives me an extra two terabytes of space uh, but Man, that, that, that just hurts right there, you know? Now, what you can do is you can turn off hibernation and that'll give you an, an extra gig or so, which I have done, and I still only have 6.23 gigabytes free. And uh, the big one, though, you want to do is get rid of your recovery drive. I haven't done that yet because in order to do that on this, you have to use a micro SD uh, to full-size SD, uh, no, micro USB to full-size USB adapter um, and I don't have one. If you're going to get this tablet, definitely go and get the 64 gig model. I mean, you will be much, much happier if you do.